Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a fun one. It is a review on a new eyeshadow palette by Stelazzi. It is the new collaboration with Jordan Liberty. It's the Dark Room Eyeshadow Palette. This is what it looks like. It is so beautiful. It's not really showing up totally true to color on camera, I don't think. From what I can see in the monitor it's not. But it is so beautiful. I've been playing with it for... I don't know when I got this. Was it... Thursday it's Sunday so I've been playing with this every day for the last four days and I'm obsessed you can buy this on the Stelazzi website www.stelazzi.com it is 39 US dollars and it comes with a total net weight of 28.8 grams of product so that is a fantastic deal in comparison to a lot of eyeshadow palettes on the market plus if you use my code Kelsey you can get 25% off which brings this palette down to 30 US dollars I think actually below 30 the packaging is really nice it's kind of like a that NARS packaging feeling. It's kind of like soft to the touch a little bit, like almost rubbery, but like not really. And then you open it up and you have a beautiful large mirror and all of the shades. It comes with 18 shades and the palette is split right down the middle. You have your cool tones on this side, warm tones on this side and a variety of finishes which I really like. It's not your typical eyeshadow palette where you just have your mattes and your shimmers. I really like that a lot of brands have been doing this lately. Colourpop's been doing it. They have their pressed glitters and super shock shadows integrated into their eyeshadow palettes. Huda Beauty's done this. But honestly, it still is a bit of a newer concept to introduce such a variety of finishes into the palettes and I'm so here for it. There's only so many colours you can do with mattes and shimmers. I was just getting kind of bored, but this is so much fun. So in this palette, there are one, two, three, four, five, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight matte shades, and then one, two, three, four, five, oh wait, no, one, two, three, four, five, six, six shimmer shades, and then three topper shades. Does that add up? What's eight plus six? I just graduated. Like, why don't I know that? Oh my god. It's 17. Where's the last one? There's seven shimmer shades. That's the missing one. I swear I'm like half decent at math. I passed university calculus, okay? Anyways, the mattes are super buttery. I think I've played with every single matte in here. So I feel like I'm, you know, fairly familiar and I can say that the quality is so good. They're super buttery, super soft, super pigmented, but not too pigmented to where it's like a subculture situation. They are a bit powdery, but that doesn't bug me. I find that that's really common in a lot of my favorite shadow formulas, like Anastasia Beverly Hills. Their shadows are very, very soft and very powdery and fallouty, but they apply so beautifully that I just, I don't care. But if that bugs you, I don't know, that's something to keep in mind. The shimmers, I've played with most of them. Not all of them, but most of them. And again, they're beautiful. They are really metallic. They swatch really nicely. They apply really nicely. I do like to apply them with a damp brush, but that's pretty standard for me. And then the three topper shades are my favorite part of the palette. These are really unique in the sense that they are sheer, but they have like little flecks of sparkle in there and it's like a little bit glittery but not super chunky glitter that falls out everywhere. It's a really finely milled sparkle and it kind of transforms the color that's underneath. So they're like eyeshadow topper shades. I don't think they're meant to be used on their own. I don't personally use them on their own. I layer them and they just transform literally any color that's in here. You can transform it using the topper shades. The topper shades are this blue one called Genesis, this purpley pink called supernova and this bronzy gold that's called Baracco. I have that one on top of my eye look today. It's like a mystery game. Like You never know what color is going to come out of layering these shades and that's what I really love. I like that, you know, there's only 18 shades in here. Not only, that's a lot for an eyeshadow palette, but like there's so much more than 18 shades because of those topper shades and you can mix and apply them over top of each other and they just kind of transform whatever's underneath and you can create so much cool stuff using those three shades. Okay, so let's do a little bit of swatchy swatches. I'll do it in the sense where I'll do the first half of the palette because this is the cool tone side and then I'll do the other side of the palette after. So first we have the shade Riviera, we have Santa Cruz, Moonwalk, Genesis, Supernova, 
Double Tap, Fathom, Asphalt, and Dark Horse. And then for the warm tone side, we have the shades Solar, Bondi, Baraco, Poolside, DTLA, Drop Top, Legend, I don't even know how to pronounce that, Elysium, Elysium, I'm sorry, forgive me, and Infrared. So I think my favorite shades in here are obviously the topper shades, but I really love the shade Bondi as well. I think it's so beautiful and I'm going to use it for every day like I already know it's going to be like my go-to. I really like the shade Infrared also and my other favorite is Riviera. I also love that this palette is colorful but like not too crazy. Like you can still create your basic neutral looks if you want to or you can, you know, have some fun with it. So even though I am affiliated with Stelazi, you can use my code Kelsey and I do make a commission off that. But I'm still being really honest. I freaking love this thing. It's so much fun. Probably one of the funnest palettes I've received in a very long time. I love the people at Stelazi. They are honestly really, really good people. They've been really, really good to me. So I really, really appreciate them in general. And if you can, I would so appreciate if you supported them. Even if you don't use my code. I mean, I don't know why you wouldn't because you saved 25%, just saying. But even if you don't, like they are such amazing people and they truly deserve all of the recognition because they work really hard and they put out good stuff too like obviously anyways i'm just rambling at this point so let's get into the tutorial portion of this video okay so the first thing i'm going to do is dip into this top peachy shade it's called solar it's a matte formula and i'm just going to get this on a fluffy blending brush this is a sigma e40 tapered blending and i'm just going to start buffing that all over my crease and upwards towards my brow bone. I'm not being precise with this at all. I'm just kind of running it pretty much everywhere. And then I'm gonna dip into this peachy shade called Poolside, also a matte formula, and I'm gonna take it on the same brush. And I'm just going to do the exact same thing, just a little bit lower. And this will just add like a peachy pop to the crease shade that we're going to put on top of that. Then I'm going to go in with a Morphe E17. It's a much smaller crease brush and I'm going to go in with this matte, uh, I don't know how I describe it, like a warm medium toned brown. It's called DTLA because Jordan lives in downtown LA, I think. I hope I'm not wrong on that, but I'm pretty sure he does. I stalk his Instagram fairly regularly. <laughs> And I'm just going to take this in the crease and keep it very low. And then with my Sigma Tapered E40 Blending Brush with no additional product on it, I'm just going to, ooh, my voice cracked there. That was not cute. I'm just going to buff that into the peach shade that we had put down previously. I'm also going to pick up a bit of that peach shade, the poolside color, and I'm just going to add a little bit more on top just to make sure everything blends super seamlessly. And then I'm going to add a little bit more of DTLA and place it back in the crease just because when we were blending we did lose a bit of that pigment. I'm so sorry if the lighting keeps changing. The weather has been so unpredictable the last few days here. It's sunny and then like torrential downpours and then sunny and now it looks like there's another thunderstorm rolling in. So I don't know. I didn't want it to stop me from filming though. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of DTLA and just kind of place it on my lid just on the outer portion. Then I'm going to go in with this pretty like rusty copper shade and I'm going to take that on a synthetic brush. This shade is called Drop Top. So I'm going in with a synthetic brush and then I'm going to wet it just because I set my uh, eye primer today so I don't really have a tacky base for it to stick to. So I prefer wetting it because I just find them easier to work with. Shimmer shades when they're damp in general. So I just misted that and I'm just going to apply this to the lid. And then what I like to do, because I don't really want to do like a whole cut crease kind of look, I just take a little bit more of the drop top color, the shimmery shade that we used, but I'm not going to dampen it this time and I'm just going to 
kind of bring it upwards into the crease a little bit just so the line between the matte and shimmer shades aren't so harsh you don't have to do this step you could leave it as more of a cut crease vibe but that's not the vibe that i'm going for today i just i don't know i just don't feel like it i've been doing so many cut creases lately it's just i don't know just switching it up okay so now that we're done with that now for the fun part we're gonna go into this shade here called Barocco, and it's like a bronze with a little bit of a green shift almost and it's sheer so this is what it looks like swatched it looks fairly pigmented but it doesn't exactly transfer that way i will swatch it on my hand for you guys so it's right here and as you can see it's not the most pigmented shade i'll just give you one of the shimmer shades um in comparison so this is the shade bondi and it is so freaking pigmented and lovely and oh yeah i love this one so here's the difference and as you can see bondi is super reflective and super pigmented whereas Barocco is a little more subdued and that's because it's a shadow topper so this for me is the fun part of the palette and I will show you why. So I'm going to pick up some of that Barocco shade on the same brush that I used. And you could use this damp or dry. I'm going to use a damp for today. And I'm just going to pat it all over the lid. Very gently. I'm not trying to build up the pigment because that's why we put the base layer of the shimmer shade down. What I'm trying to do is just add a little bit of dimension and I'm pretty sure that's what these shades were meant for just to add some really pretty sparkle and dimension and kind of create like custom shades almost and I'm doing the same thing that I did with the copper shade I'm just kind of bringing this shade into the crease a little bit just to blend everything and then I think I'll do a smoky shadow liner because you know I've been super into that lately and this is like one of the blackest shadows I've ever used the black right here is called asphalt and I'm just gonna take this with the Sigma small angle e65 and I'm just going to add a little bit of liner because why not if the blacks in the palette I literally hate when people pull into my driveway and see me filming it's like the most awkward thing because I just stare into their car and they stare into my window and we just have a bit of a stare off wondering what each other is doing. So I think that's it for the eye look, the upper lid portion anyway. So I'm going to do the rest of my face and then I can come back and do my lower lash line and yeah, I'm just going to do it off camera. I'll let you know what I use but the whole point of this video is to really focus on the palette so that's what I'm going to do. Alright, so the rest of my face is mostly done, actually completely done and i just want to finish up the eyes and then we'll be finished so for the lower lash line i'm going to keep it really simple i'm going to go in with the shade dtla on the same morphe e17 brush i'm just going to run this on my lower lash line you can make a really cute face while you're doing this And then once most of the pigment is off that brush, I am going to use the same brush and dip into poolside. And I am going to place it a little bit lower and kind of use this shade to smoke out the downtown LA color. So I'm just applying it a little bit lower and just buffing everything out. And then I'm also connecting it to the upper lash line so that it's not so that there's no space in between because that's I don't know I don't really like that look unless there's a wing and then I'm going to use my essence long-lasting eye pencil in the shade hot chocolate and I am just going to line my waterline with this I actually really like this eye pencil I should use it more often okay and I'm just going to quickly do my lashes off camera because I can't talk when I do those and I will be right back all right so this is the completed look actually I think I'm going to add a little bit of a gloss. I'm just not feeling this lip on its own. I don't know why, but like that. Okay, I'm just adding a bit of ColourPop gloss. Oh, I don't even think I told you everything I used. I will, just hold on. This is the ColourPop gloss in Fresco. Fresco, yep. I've been really digging this gloss lately. It's definitely one of my faves. And underneath I have an ultra blotted lip from their California Love collection. I didn't use all ColourPop this time though. I used them a lot in my previous videos, so I didn't want to go overboard today. 
on the ColourPop, even though it's hard not to, man. They just have such good stuff. So, this is the Ultra Glossy Lip, as I mentioned previously, in Fresco. And underneath, I had the ColourPop Ultra Blotted Lip in Scenic Root. This is from the California Love Collection. For bronzer, I used my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. For blush, I actually had a mix of blush. At first, I had the Bare Minerals Gen Nude Blush in Call Me Blush, but it started to get a little patchy on this side, so I don't know what that was about. And then just to like clear up the patchiness, I added a bit of ColourPop My Sun and Stars. Okay, I guess I did use a lot of ColourPop, but this was just used as a fix. Bare Minerals didn't come through. And then for highlight, I used the Tarte Amazonian Clay Highlighter in Exposed. And my lashes are by House of Lashes, and they are the N Natalia Lights. I need to get my hair done so freaking bad, man. It's just been really wild lately. Okay, so this is the completed look. I will zoom you in a little bit. I think it's really pretty. It really brings out my eye color as, you know, orange tones do. And I really love that little bit of sparkle that the topper shade provided. It's so pretty. As you can probably tell, I really do recommend this palette. I work closely with Stelazi and they're really, really good people and they deserve all the support. Jordan Liberty is a fantastic artist. He produces really, really, really good work and yeah, I just, I think they did a really good job. It's really beautiful. And you know what? It's affordable. I mean, relatively affordable in comparison to like Huda Beauty or something. Or Natasha Denona who charges like 130 Canadian dollars for her damn eyeshadow palette. It's ridiculous. I love that Stelazi keeps it decently affordable, you know, in comparison to other companies in this market. And even though it is a collab and even though it is a brand new launch, my code does work with it, which is absolutely incredible. Most brands, for example, ColourPop, I have a code with ColourPop, but I, I don't gain anything from it. It's for $5 off, but half the time it doesn't even work because it doesn't work on their new launches and they launch something every other week. I'm not complaining. I'm still happy that I have a code with them because who doesn't want to save a bit of money? But that part's just kind of annoying because half the time my followers don't even get to really use it. Ew, this lip is getting really gross. I don't know if you guys noticed that, but like in the corners, I guess don't top your ultra blotted lips with a gloss. I don't know. Okay, anyways, moving on. So yeah, overall, I would definitely recommend this palette. I would definitely recommend using my code. It's for 25% off. Like that just doesn't really exist in the makeup industry. 25%, that's crazy. Let me know if you guys do pick this up. Let me know if you guys want more looks on it. I feel like I can just create endless looks like I just have so many ideas for stuff that I want to do and I think those transforming shades are really the source of that you can put them on top of literally any shade in the palette and it just kind of transforms so I've been really playing with applying the topper shades on top of the mattes on top of the shimmers on top of pretty much anything to see what color is produced because it's like a surprise every time Anyways, that's it for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for watching. If you've made it this far, please subscribe if you haven't yet, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!